Hello and welcome to yet another video. Today we will be looking at a really cool OpenAI feature and we will just copy it and use it in, with Rivet because I think it's really useful for lots of people. And yeah, what am I talking about? Basically, recently uh, ChatGPT uh, or OpenAI added this cool ad feature here. So whenever you're in a conversation, you can just prompt a special agent and now you can talk to that agent in that conversation and will know all the history or the previous talk. So you can basically um, go through a whole process where you talk to different specialists to uh, do your tasks for you. And yeah, that's super useful, I think, because you don't want to re-explain or uh, go to his different GPT and re-explain all the stuff and so on. So um, we just recreate that. Uh, actually, I already did. And for this, we will be using the chatbot UI. If you don't know how to connect the chatbot UI to your Rivet graphs, I've linked the video explaining it and the GitHub project in the links below. So mm, there is some steps to do it once, but once you've done it, it's it's a pretty cool thing and it's easy. Okay, first of all, um, this is not correct that we are talking to Claude 2 here. That's just uh, how it's showing it. We are talking to our Rivet assistants here. And let me just demo you a cool case. So let's first, um, not use that feature just to show you what happens then. So now we will just be talking to GPT-35 Turbo without any special system prompts. Hello, I'm creating a new uh, YouTube tutorial how to use, uh, let's do add mentions to attack special uh, assistants or AI assistants um, to take over the conversation. Let's just write this. Can you recommend me YouTube titles for that? And as we can see, I mean, yeah, it's it's answering something, but I mean, those YouTube titles here are a bit not following what my channel is about. And of course, it doesn't know anything about my channel. And yeah, I mean, I don't want to explain it every time. So let's do this differently. Let's um, actually do a new chat. Let's go to uh, to our Revit assistant. And let's start doing that with our assistant. Now we can use start with the YouTube title creator. I'm currently creating a YouTube video showing off a new feature, how to tag um, AI assistants with in chatbot UI. Let's just do this. Uh, please generate me video titles. And now we can see that uh, we are getting an answer from the YouTube title creator. And we can also see that it's now outputting our um, yeah, titles which are more in the way my current videos are. They will start with Rivet, then at the end there's something like Easy No Code Tutorial. It's also counting the characters and it's giving us a recommendation. So what does it recommend here? It recommends us revolutionize AI interactions. Okay, let's just say we stick with that. Uh, this is actually, which one is it? It's number one. So now we give up the task to the next one because we also need a YouTube description. So um, I like first, actually this should be enough to give it. Let's see if that's the case. So now the YouTube description creator is taking over and yeah, it's telling us that it, what the title is, it's now writing about and it found out that, yeah, it, it found the correct one. And now it's giving us YouTube's descriptions. Discover how to effortlessly take AI assistance using the ad symbol in the chatbot UI with Rivet, transforming your AI interactions without any coding and so on. Cool. Um, so next step, <clears throat> I also want a LinkedIn post. So let's go to the LinkedIn post creator and let's pick, uh, what do we use? Uh, let's let's pick for it. It doesn't matter for now. I mean, this is just a, a demo, of course. Let's pick three. And now we have our LinkedIn post uh, generator, which is creating a cool and engaging LinkedIn post for us. <clears throat> Elevate your AI game with Rivet and a cool rocket here. Ever found yourself lost in the complexity of AI interactions? Say hello. It's also adding uh, text, as I told it to. So, um, yeah, 
As you can see, uh, working with uh, a whole group of different assistants is super easy now and uh, super fun as well, I think. Uh, because at any point we can just check in the new assistant, I can create more or I could go back to the YouTube title creator or whatever we want. And as you can see, it's integrated so nicely in Chatbot UI that it is super, super simple. So you might be wondering, how does this work? Um, so let me quickly show you. First, we start at Rivet. So this is our graph. And this graph is actually super simple. We have our input here, which is just all the chat messages we are sending to uh, we have in the conversation. And as we can see, those chat messages, of course, contain those at mentions here. So what do we need to do? We are, we need to check the last message for the at mention. In this case, we can see it is extracting the LinkedIn post creator, as this is our at mention from this message. And then we are running into a match node which is also super simple. Now we are just matching if we want to talk to the YouTube title creator, the YouTube description creator, the LinkedIn post creator, and we can add a new one super simply. I will show you that in a second. And now, depending on which one we hit, we either go to the subgraph for the YouTube title creator, the description creator, the LinkedIn post creator, as we did in this case, or if it's unmatched, so if we did not take anything or we take something wrong, we are going to the main assistant, which is just at the moment, just ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo without any instructions. And in those graphs now, it's also, there is nothing special in here at the moment. It's just, um, we are choosing having a chat node and we are having some special system prompt for that um, assistant to be using. Of course, in the future, we could also add tools. We could add um, retrieval augmented generation to certain AI assistants. So the potential is very big, but I want to keep it basic here so for that that we have a clear and easy to understand use case and you just see um yeah what the possibilities are so let's say we want to add another one so the easiest thing we can do we just clone one of our assistants we already have let's just duplicate let's rename it and let's do something stupid let's call it superbot and now, of course, we need to change our system prompt here. So let's get rid of like nearly everything of it. But maybe we keep the small part about that it's telling us in the response that it is super bot. So let's write here, I am super bot. And let's give it a small introduction. You are super bot. Everything is super for you. You try to superfy whatever that word is uh, every word in your response be super okay so we created superbot and now we are going to main and as i said before we just need this match node now extended so it can actually match superbot so we go here and we just add the same thing we also picked in the graph name here that's the easiest to keep it all uh, to connect it, so we just add superbot. And now we have our new output here, as we can see. And simple as that, we will just add a subgraph. We pick superbot subgraph. Okay, and as always, I like to color my subgraphs, but you don't have to do that. Uh, and we are connecting that. And yeah, we can save. And now the most amazing thing about the whole chatbot UI is we can just we can just keep the conversation and we can immediately interact with it. But there's one more step. As you can see, it's it's not in our list here yet. So how do we do that? We just go to prompts here and we create a new prompt. So in the title, we write superbot. And in here, we need to write our prompt that should be added. So we write add superbot then double point and then a space and we press create and now let's take let's superbot take over you can see it's already in here you can press it now there's superbot in and uh yeah what do you think let's just ask it about his opinion or its opinion maybe 
And now we are talking with I'm super bored. Absolutely super. Your choice to focus on transforming is super brilliant. It super encapsulates the essence. Yeah. Easy as that. We just created a new board for our list. And yeah. I don't know. This is I, I love this because it opens up so many opportunities um, to do so much stuff. And yeah, as always, please uh, like and subscribe. Um, I will, of course, share this graph. And as I said, if you want to use it, you will also need to, to have Rivet connected to the chatbot UI because that simplifies things that we can also always just put all messages in and we don't need to have like a chat history. So in general, it's, I think it's super cool to connect those two things um, to make it much simpler and much more powerful. Yeah, and if you have any feedback or future ideas, please let me know. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.